Hey guys, it's Lisa. So I'm here at Disneyland today and it's gonna be a merch day. I feel like I have not done this in quite some time, but today's the day. I'm gonna look at all of the latest merchandise that's been released around Disneyland. And because I have not been here and doing, you know, the merchandise stuff in so long, I feel like it's gonna be a lot. There's gonna be a lot of it. But anyway, come along with me, let's hang out and let's go look at merchandise. Also, can we have a small round of applause for the return of Hack Girl? I am Hack Girl again. That is my official title for the day. I feel like I've mainly been wearing ears. The band is going by. Okay, but yes, we. It's it's the welcoming back of Hack Girl. How exciting! Anyway, let's go inside the Emporium. Emporium first. This is an incredible way to start the day. We have two new ears and I love mini ears. It's one of the main things that I collect. I mean, I collect a lot of Disney merchandise, but still ears are my favorite thing. So these are bell ears and they look so familiar. Like they look like a Tokyo Disney or maybe a Disneyland Paris type of ear that we've seen before, but I'm sure they're a little bit different. I like that they are very yellow. They have this chiffon folded down and pleated at the bottom, but it also has little pearls and roses printed on the satin ears. And then it has a gold bow and then a chiffon bow. And then look at that chiffon rose in the middle. These are really cute. And typically yellow is not my color, but these are adorable. And both ears are $35. That's the normal price for ears. And then for these ears, these are pirate ears. And I was just about to be like, ahoy, matey. But I didn't feel like doing the pirate voice, okay? I'm not, I'm not very good voices. But anyway, these are very cute. They have faux leather ears that are puffy, red and white striped. And then my favorite part for sure is the little skull. His expression is so adorable. It's embroidered onto the felty brown hat in the center. And then it has a sash, a little red satin sash tied around in a pirate type of way. And then there's gold cording around the actual headband, which is black, but very, very fun. And then we also have the lounge fly Pirates of the Caribbean ears. I think those are over at Pieces of Eight, which is the gift shop that's next to the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. But they have that and then they also have the lounge fly backpack. So if you like pirate things, you are in luck if you come to Disneyland right now. I was wrong. There's not just two new pairs of ears, there's actually three. And look at these, they're Disney 100. They're also by Loungefly. You can see that little glittery metal plaque on the side of the headband. And they have a really nice faux leather bow in silver. And then the print is so cute and will match all of the Disney 100 merchandise items. Like look at this back here. They match perfectly. And this makes me want the Disney 100 Loungefly. You know, the silver metallic one with the drippy straps. Oh my gosh. I, dang it. Now I kind of want all of these, but anyway, very cute. Lounge flight ears are $45, so a little bit more expensive than the regular Disney Parks ears, but these are so cute. I had to try these on just like really, really quick and mainly just because I love a tiny hat on a pair of ears and I feel like we have not gotten a tiny hat on a pair of ears in so long. So I kind of like them. I They're not really my style, but I, I like them. This little satin sash going on very cute. Also the tiny pirate hat. Come on, tiny hat. I love it. I also had to try these on. I just, I couldn't help it. The purple ones, I'm like, I know what you would look like, but these, I just, first off, a yellow is not my thing, like at all, but these I like. I like them a lot. I like the flower in the middle. I like the gold glitter bow. Look at it. It's shivering. It's so cute. Um, maybe yellow is my new thing. Maybe I like these. I don't know. There's some clothing for women that's Disneyland themed and I really love the colors of this collection. So this is a really nice soft beige with a light gray, kind of like warm gray. And then the material of both these sweatshirt, which by the way, the sweatshirt is 60, the sweatpants are 50 and it's very soft and fleecy and it's also pretty thin. It's like very, very thin for a sweatshirt, but I think it's the kind of material that might get a little bit lumpy, a little bit pilly after a few washes, but still, I really like the colors, although the collar is going to be very divisive. I don't think everyone is going to like that v-neck collar, especially when you untie this. It's going to widen up a lot, so that might not be for you, but anyway, kangaroo pocket, and then let's see. Shockingly, there's nothing on the back, which I really like, and then let's see. The pants are, looks like they're jogger style. Yeah, they're jogger style, so they're cuffed at the bottom. They're very thin, which is nice for lounge. It has this soft pink Disneyland logo and a kind of puffy, like almost spirit jersey puffy, but not quite that puffy. 
and then it looks like it has pockets too. Very cool. For $25, there's a tumbler here that is plain plastic, but it has glitter like confetti going on down there. Very fun. And then I like the pink chrome lid with the clear straw. And then the inside, it has this really pretty geometric, kind of like dreamy colored type of look for the castle. Very nice. And two more items in this collection. So this is very lounge focused because this pullover right here is very thin. It's $40, like very, very thin, almost like a thick, very drapey. Actually, I like this because it's stretchy, kind of long sleeve, but very cool. I like the color. It's a nice warm gray. And then we have the Disneyland castle and I love the pink. I love, love, love the pink. And then it has this V notch kind of thing going on on the sides, which definitely gives it a very relaxed kind of feel, kind of vibe. But I would love to hang out at home in this. I feel like this would be very comfy. The t-shirt is also $40, which I find kind of shocking because it's the same price as the pullover. But this is a nice baby pink. It has a little bit of a wide oval collar and the material is totally fine. It's nothing to write home about at all. But then the graphic, it's home sweet home. I like the little sparkly stars going on and it has a little bit of that puffy spirit jersey material, but it's not quite as thick. And then it also has like little V notches on the side too. Oh, it's kind of like a high-low thing. It's a little bit longer in the back. There's a Nike hat here that is new and it is Pixar themed. It's also made out of that dry fit material. It's Nike golf, I think. Like I think on the back strap, yeah, see, it says Nike golf. So it's definitely sweat wicking. It's $39.99. It is very white. If you're scared of white things, I think this would definitely get stained somewhat easily. Maybe not because you're wearing it on your head, right? I guess so. <laughs> but then we have the Luxo ball right there and it is all embroidered on the very front. There's a new Pixar themed spirit jersey right here. It reminds me a lot of, gosh, like there was a bunch of spirit jerseys earlier this year that were like fluffy and one of them was Pixar themed. I think actually there were two Pixar themed fluffy, fuzzy, furry ones like this one, but it's a really nice blue color. I like the different shades of blue going on with the embroidery and the fluffy material and the checkerboard pattern, but we have Ducky and Bunny. Who is this? We have Lotso on the side. He has some crazy eyes right there. Wow. And then Sully, let's see. What is on the front? Buttercup, very cute. Oh my gosh, Bing Bong, he's one of my favorites. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna guess there's no price because they, okay, no price. I'm gonna guess probably 90. 80 is the normal price for a spirit jersey and they go up as they get more fancy. I feel like this one is maybe 90. 80 to 90 is my educated guess. There's some new Cars Land merchandise right here. And wow, this spirit jersey is kind of wacky and kind of crazy, but also kind of cool. So I'm gonna guess their spirit jerseys never have a price. I'm gonna guess this one is $80, like the regular price, but it has the Cars Land logo right there, which is super cool. And it is made out of that puffy material. It is like a, like a typical, it's like on the thin side for a spirit jersey. Well, like, you know, on, yeah, I would say on the thin side, but a regular because most spirit jerseys are this material anyway <laughs> we have a big cars land logo on the back also that very nice puffy spirit jersey material very satisfying to touch but then the print itself is really cool and very trippy look at that it's kind of halloweeny right very fun i thought this was an adult bucket hat but no 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 it is a youth hat it's 25 dollars, and you can kind of get a better look at the prints on the hat very nice. And it's made out of like a, a little bit of like a sheeny type of material, like a little bit like sport feeling, like um, like a windbreaker almost. And then it has this really cool woven tag right there that says Cars Land. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be, hmm, maybe it's not. Is it reversible? Okay, I think it is. I think it is also because the Cars Land woven tag is on that side too. Okay, pretty cool. I bet there's an adult version somewhere or coming out soon. There's also a five panel hat. I think that's what it's called, right? A five panel hat when it looks like this. It's very 80s, very 90s, very fun, especially with this print and these colors. Look at that high vis green going on and then a very vibrant coral under the brim. And the print is very unique also. Look, all the neon lights, which are one of the coolest parts about Cars Land. Let me see, how much is this? Did I mention that? I don't think so. It's $25. I found some very, very popular items. These are hoodies and we've already seen the navy blue one, but now we have a heathered gray one. I think they're all 60, 70. Okay, and this one is, well, they all have the same cut, which is very streamlined. Like, look, there's no kangaroo pocket in the front. The pockets are just kind of built in to the seam right there. 
and the material is really nice because it feels soft it is fleecy on the inside it's definitely going to get pilly after some washing and wearing but you kind of expect that and then on the back look we have the disneyland logo it's an applique so it's kind of like a not like a canvas kind of like a canvas but it's a giant applique and then it says authentic original established 1955 with the castle i like this gray one but then there's also a teal one if you are more into color so this one is really nice i like the vibrant color and then on the back it says disneyland and it's all in white but yeah these are really nice and the navy blue one we've already seen there's also a black one i want to say with white disneyland lettering and that one is like is super popular. I think if you want it, you're gonna have to be at the right place at the right time to be able to like snatch it up. There's also this plain Mickey Mouse Disneyland shirt, which I love the classic stuff. The weight of this is medium weight and it's like totally average. Nothing to write home about in terms of the quality of the shirt itself, but I do just like the graphic. Look at Mickey and then the best part, it says Disneyland right down at the bottom. Oh, but the print is not thick. Okay, that's fantastic. It gets extra points for that. Let's see, this is $35 and it looks like it is men's sizing. I adore this collection. It's the Cartoon Pals collection. Look what you have, Donald with a little bow tie. And it's really fun and I love the colors and I love how cartoony everything is. This is so cute, but I have not seen this before. This is a really cute little quarter zip and it looks like it is, ooh, it's so nice and Sherpa-y. But look, it has a little Mickey right here at this one sleeve. Is there something else on this sleeve? No. I'm kind of disappointed about that. But then it does have some zippered pockets. I bet these connect. <gasps> they do not, shockingly. <laughs> so two individual pockets. And then let's see, anything on the back? Oh, nothing on the back. I'm actually kind of surprised about that as well. But I do like plain things. So this is more on the plain side, which I am digging. Okay, let me find the price. This is $59.99. For $39.99, there's also this canvas backpack that I have not seen before. I love the lavender color. I like that it is a flap style. And then, oh, it's a magnet. Okay, the magnet is pretty strong. We appreciate that for its safety and security. And then it has Stitch down here, and he looks really silly. And he looks so sad, so forlorn, right? And then this is all embroidered, like, patch style. Actually, that's an applique. It's like a fuzzy, felty applique. Let's see, is there anything on the back though? Nothing on the back, but it's a nice size. It's like just the right size for me because it's bigger than a lounge fly, you know, to bring to the park. It can carry a lot more stuff than a lounge fly would. I haven't even seen the latest Disney Decades collection, which came out last week, I wanna say. Oh, actually in that case, then we have four new ears. Well, four new to me ears. Maybe really these are not new to you, if you frequent Disney or shop Disney. But anyway, okay, these ears are Beauty and the Beast. I love Beauty and the Beast. I kind of like the other ones more. These do light up though, but I was reading the tag. Look at this. It says batteries not replaceable. So it's very ephemeral. And whoever plugged this in, well, dang, you know, and hopefully nobody buys these because that's unfortunate. But anyway, I do like that it has mini roses, look many roses inside and i do like the stained glass portion and i also just like that they have the floral like you know the flowers of the crown oh and then also one of my favorite parts about all of the disney decades ears is that they have this little metallic plaque on the side that i think is really cool these are 40 dollars. all the disney decades ears have been 40 dollars. but then i want to see the lounge fly because this is adorable the lounge fly is really cute. I also just love the Goofy movie. I'm a 90s kid, so it makes me very, very happy. And I like all the deboss details going on. I also just like that everything is very colorful on this bag. And they have the little piece of plastic in the front that looks like water. And then let me see if I can try and show you around. Okay, so yes, deboss details around the side, which I love. And then my favorite thing about all of these lounge flies is that they have this little applique on the back that says Disney Decades. Although that's like one of the only things that I find to be truly cohesive about this collection. But yeah, pretty cute. Let me see the inside actually. The lining on this is absolutely precious. As you can see, there's pictures of Goofy and Max and there's more down there, but I can't really see them. So it'll just have to be a special surprise if you get it. But that part totally makes it for me. There's also an entire Encanto collection, and we've already seen the ears. They are right over there. And we've also already seen the Louisa backpack, which by the way, I'm pretty sure this is on super sale on Shop Disney, so do not buy 
the Louisa Loungefly here at the parks, but I have not seen any of this other stuff. So this is a spirit jersey. It says, time to shine. And I love how colorful it is, but I like how that royal blue kind of grounds everything. Doesn't make it too off the, you know, crazy color charts. I don't know where I was going with that. But look, we have Bruno. He's looking super sheepish. This is really fun. Oh my gosh, there's even a little rat down there. The print is actually pretty thick though. So like, just keep that in mind. But I love this print. It also goes down the side. Ooh, yes. Look, it has all the characters. Who's on this sleeve? Is it Bruno again? No, it's just, oh my God, it's just a bunch of the rats. That is so silly. And then let's see the front. There's no price on this, by the way. So I'm just gonna guess 80. We have a toucan. Oh, and then we have the entire family on the front. This is really cool. But like I said, very thick, but the illustrations are really, really nice. For $35, there's a bucket hat here. And I did check, it's not reversible, very sadly, but I do like the color blocking going on. I like the teal colors and then I like the character artwork on it. This is really nice. Like I said, for the spirit jersey, the illustrations are really fantastic, like the art style, really cool. There's also a bunch of accessories. So we have an AirPods case right here. And of course they put Dolores on it because like, of course, you know what I mean? That is pretty cute. Okay, $20. And then what is this, a card case? No, it's a phone wallet. Okay, that makes sense because I was like, why is that ring there? But yes, you can easily hold your phone with this attached to it. Very cool. And it has a Louisa patch on it. This is $22, a set of magnets. Oh, I just love the art and I love the colors. Okay, teal. I'm gonna guess $12.99 for this. And then we have an Apple wristband. Why can't I think of the Apple ri Hmm, okay. I'm not, I'm not even gonna try to attempt to remember what it's called right now. But yes, very, very cool. How much is this? $37. Okay, wait, why is it truly? I'm gonna have to figure out what it is. Uh, Apple Watch, Apple, ugh. Apple Watch. Oh my God. Yes, Apple Watch. This sweatshirt is awesome. So first off, the color is really cool. It's a really nice like brownie, oatmeal-y, heathered type of material. And it's pretty thick. Like it's going to retain its shape and its form really, really easily. And then the aglets are a nice bright yellow. Looks great with this brownie beige. And then it has the character artwork here with all of the kids in the family. Very fun. And then there's no kangaroo pocket, but there are pockets here on the side. Just like that, very nice. Okay, let's see, what is the price? $65, and I'm gonna guess there's nothing on the back. Oh wait, there is something. Okay, there's something on the back. It says, la familia es todo, so family is everything. And then it has a little bit of embroidery on it as well. And the print isn't like really, really thick. It's like a little bit thick, but casita is right there. Very nice. This shirt right here is $35 and it features Bruno and it's a nice kind of like muted forest green. It's a little bit, feels almost like slick, but it's uh, uh, like one step above just an absolutely average t-shirt material. And then, oh no, the print is kind of thick though. But the print is adorable. I like that it's all contained within this rectangular frame. And then we have Bruno looking very sheepish. He has a rat on his head because, you know, he's Bruno. That's how he is. But then this right here, I like this unfinished collar because it gives it kind of a, kind of like a Bruno look, you know? Sorry, Bruno, I don't mean to say that you look unfinished, undone, but kind of, maybe, right? For $20, there's also this really nice mug and it feels really nice in the hand just because it has all of this kind of like organic texturing going on. But yeah, this feels really nice in the hand and the artwork is really fun. The black is satin, like the background, and then the character artwork is very glossy, very fun. And this is only, oh, only Isabella is on it, but lots of fun, colorful flowers. And did I mention the price? Maybe not, but it's $20. Ahoy, shipmates! We're just near the busy port of A very quick snack break. I came over to, oh, I don't want to lose any popcorn by shaking it around, but I ended up coming over to the Rivers of America, the Frontierland area popcorn cart, because I was looking for this. I have friends that want him. I'm trying to get my camera to stay up. That's why my hand stays, I'll just lean back like this. It's fine. But anyway, yes, he is back in stock. He sold out. He is now back in stock. And if you want him, I did try to look around like, Main Street and the Hub and Town Square and stuff, but he was not in stock over there. So I had to venture this way, which by the way, that is kind of a good tip. If you're looking for like a sold out popcorn bucket, the Frontierland popcorn cart is usually my best bet. Like that's usually where I'm able to find them. But anyway, 
If you want him, he is back in stock. I don't know for how long. And also look at this. The way that it opens, I didn't realize this, is so creepy. Oh no, let me see if I can do this. <gasps> Did I get it? No, not really. But anyway, it's the back of his head just like pops out. It's weird, but he is very cute and I love him and his little candy bucket. <laughs> There may be no sitting on the outside rail or placing a young sailors upon them. I'm an adopted mother of this adopted child. Well, I'm a, uh, is that the way it works? <laughs> but yes, for at least a few days until I give him to his new parents. But anyway, I am back on Main Street because we're going to keep looking for merch. I don't know where. We'll just find stuff. Across the street from the Emporium, they have Disney Clothiers, which has women's clothing, men's clothing, children's clothing, as you can tell clearly by the name Disney Clothiers, but I just wanted to show you some women's long sleeves I just found. They do have the women's kind of like gray pinky collection, the lounge one, but they have this and it's acid wash. It has a very wide neckline and it is immensely stretchy. Look at that. It is so, so stretchy and it's pretty soft. But yes, very acid washed and very distressed. And then the Disneyland logo right here is distressed, but it's not thick whatsoever. It is screen printed on there. Let's see, how much is this? It is $45. And then I found other colors too. So it comes in three other colors. This one right here is a hot pink. And then it looks kind of vibrant, but also the distressing kind of tones it down. It has a medium gray for the print. And then this one is oatmeal. And then it has, it almost looks like the print is metallic, but it's not. It's just kind of like a metallic-y type of color. Oh my gosh, look at how stretchy these are, by the way. You can see it has a good weight to it. And then the last one is this light pink one. And by the way, I think these are really popular because the sizing is kind of broken. See, there's not a ton of sizing, but this one is light pink and then it has a gray color for the print. They have another men's Nike dry fit hat right here, and this is nice and black and very simple, totally my jam, and it has the Disneyland Resort logo embroidered on with the castle. Very, very cool. And then, of course, this one is also $39.99, but yes, totally up my alley because I like basic things, and this is pretty basic. This hat has been insanely, insanely popular and they finally restocked it. I feel like it sold out very quickly, but it is a plain black men's hat with a gloved Mickey hand with a peace sign right on the front. And then on the back, it says Disneyland Resort. And then it has Mickey and he is looking very cute, very chipper, very cheerful. And I like that it is just a little bit of color right there on the back. So this is $30 and you can find it at like all the stores. I've seen it so far, like everywhere. It is back in stock for good. inside China closet right now. I'm looking for mugs. Ooh, wait. Okay, I already found one that I think is pretty cool. Look at this. I'm confused though. Is the hat? Oh, it's like rubber. Okay, well, it's Scrooge McDuck. He's looking really cute. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I cannot. Okay, let's see. This is $24.99 and I just think it's really funny. Look at the feathers on the side of his face. It looks like they are wings. Like he could flap and fly away. We never really get Muppets merchandise, but I just have to say the animal mug is fantastic. He is amazing. Also, the beaker mug is fantastic too. He is so funny. I love this. Okay, $25. And then I think this one is also $25. Yeah. Yeah. They're not new, you know, but it's just that whenever you see Muppets merchandise, you have to call it out because you're like, wait, Muppets? They never do Muppets merchandise and it's kind of sad. I haven't seen this mug before. It's $20 and it looks like, wait, it is $20, right? Yeah. Nope. It's not, it's 17, I was wrong. But I, it's part of the collection that's very vintage-y and it has like a lot of vintage colors that came out with the clothing like that. But anyway, very cool, very vintage. Wow, look at that. And then the inside is this like kind of creamsicle, creamy color, but very nice. I haven't seen this before and it looks like it's probably part of that Cars collection, like the spirit jersey, the very trippy kind of spirit jersey and has the Cars Land logo on it. And then I really like the finish kind of gives it like a heat burnt, a very like oil slick type of finish. Very nice metal, obviously. Okay, $19.99. The kids things are always cuter. And look at this. This is so much fun. How much is it? It's $14.99. Oh my gosh, it has gold glitter. It has little, are those fish? No, they're Mickey heads. How fun. It says, Yoho, Pirate's Life for Me, Parts of the Caribbean. And then look, it has Mickey on the very front. And then the best part, Oh my gosh, first off, the straw is 
silicone like it's attached to the cap and then it has a little pirate's flag on it and it matches the pirate's flag the little you know the skull and crossbones on the ears i love this this is so silly and i love it it is officially my favorite time of the day and that is when I get to put on a sweatshirt. Yes, it is my favorite thing. And it's not even that cold. It's actually like barely just cold enough for me to put this on. It's just that, you know, the sun is gone. As soon as the sun went down, I was like, well, obviously it is time for me to put on a sweatshirt, right? Right? I will look for any excuse. Also, I am still hat girl. I still have my hat on because, well, at this point, my hair has become acclimated to the hat. It is officially hat hair. So you would not be able to pry this hat off of me at all. It's attached to my head now. Anyway, <laughs> yes, I don't know where I was going with any of this at all, other than just saying thank you guys for watching. Oh, also I have my Mickey, my adopted son for the day. One of my favorite things about getting the popcorn buckets or the sippers is that you get to carry them around all day. And that's exactly what I did with him. He and I bonded, but then I'm gonna have to give him away soon to his real parents which will make me a little bit sad. <laughs> I mean, I could have gotten another one, but oh God, I am not carrying around two. Sorry, Mickey. You are too big and all up in, ooh, the monorail is going by. <laughs> I'm so distracted. Anyway, yes, I don't really have anything else to say other than I had a fun day today. I had a lot of fun going around. I hope you guys had fun coming along with me. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. <laughs> okay, see ya. <laughs>